from the beginning, after the first week of Ahsoka, when Disney came out to try to counteract some of that news saying, we got 14 million views worldwide in a week, guys. We're just so happy with this, despite never have revealed really anything before. And all the numbers that have come out since then have only validated the fact that that's not very impressive for them. We knew that from the first episode, there was not a lot of people engaged with Ahsoka compared to other Disney Star Wars shows. It was only really beating out Andor. And even by the second episode, well, the second week, the third episode, we started to realize that the numbers were pretty comparable to Andor. Star Wars Ahsoka completely tanking in ratings, dropped nearly 50% in those Nielsen ratings from week one to week two. Well, now, after the same week where we have a very divisive finale, I think it has really divided people. I think a lot of people felt left let down by that finale, regardless of whether they felt about the rest of the show. Certainly, some people enjoyed it. Some people are loving it. But there's a lot of people that are not satisfied with the conclusion of this show and are really mad on the show in general. Well, now we get the newest update, Nielsen streaming numbers. And you can tell by this headline and by this entire fucking article going over the Nielsen streaming headlines, Ahsoka's not mentioned. There's wow. a reason that it's not mentioned. And it's because, once again, it's not in the top 10. And it's barely in the top 10 for just original programming. Ahsoka falls down a few more spots to number seven and falls from minutes viewed wise to 459 million minutes watched. This is similar to Secret Invasion's numbers in their third week of streaming. Uh, this is worse than Book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan, all this stuff that came out before. Ahsoka has a problem connecting with general audience members. It just does. This is a week where it had a longer episode with the tease of Anakin at the end, and still it had a fall in the ratings, despite having more episodes for people to go back and watch. Really, no way you slice it other than it's bad news for Disney. I'll put the caveat in there. The next week, we'll get the numbers for episode five of Ahsoka, which I have thought the whole time it'll get a boost just because people re-watching it, even if more people hadn't tuned in because that's the Anakin episode. But what else can you say about this, Jay? I mean, regardless of how many times it trends on Twitter, the audience doesn't seem to be there for Ahsoka. I do think it's because a lot of normie Star Wars fans, me included, like had no idea who these characters were. So there wasn't really much of an investment. So for them to just kind of throw it into a show and assume that everybody's just, ooh, look at this, look at that, look at that. I do think the Anakin episode was was probably the like, if the viewership falls off, we got an Anakin episode right in the middle. That might pull people back in to see exactly what the freak is going on. So because we know that'll trend all over Twitter. So maybe like you said, it, it will be interesting to see those the next one. But for the most part, the story that people that didn't see Rebels like me, the story was confusing. I have no investment in these characters, had no idea like what was going on. And, you know, there's so many questions. And every time like I brought those questions up on my live stream, then the comment section was filled with people saying, watch Rebels, you idiot. Then you won't have these questions. And number two, you're just overly nitpicking the show. And it's like, how is it over nitpicking the show when it's clearly six years after Return of the Jedi? And you're just like, where the freak is Han? Where's Luke? Obviously, they didn't They didn't need him. Now they're stuck on a planet with a uh, force ghost Anakin walking around. I saw that meme with that, like, Luke Skywalker during Ahsoka. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. Just hanging around. <laughs> Just hanging around. <laughs> Just hanging around. Um, it's You mean Anakin. You said Luke. Well, I know. But what I mean is Luke. Luke's just sitting there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got I like Luke's just sitting there jerking yep. off doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just waiting yeah. for a, another apprentice to walk along. To me, that's one of the failures of the the Mando verse in general. Is this should be the time where Luke Skywalker is out there, very active in the galaxy. So right? that will be that'll be the name of the next series, Heir to the Empire. How much you want to bet? It might be the name of the movie. To yeah. Be honest. And. I think it's disgusting. Listen, different people have different opinions than I do on this. There's sure. expanded universe fans out there that love seeing them take something and bring it in, even if it's not in the same way. I hate it. Uh, I think there's a large portion of people that hate it. If you're going to throw this thing away and say it never happened, we want to we want a clean slate to tell our own stories and then pick and choose little things. Look, just because you bring in a guy called Thrawn who has blue skin and a white <laughs> Grand Admiral uniform, does not mean that you're adequately able to tell that story. We've seen that. That's been proven. None of it makes sense. It's it's written like a child, and it's written yeah. for children, in my opinion. That's why it feels like animation. But anyway, that, that's talking about the shit itself. The reception to it, 
even though some people on social media love this thing, there's not a lot of people that have been tuning in. I don't think the general Star Wars audience knows who Ahsoka is. I agree. I, I don't think the general Star Wars audience watched the Clone Wars, certainly didn't watch Rebels, and I don't think they understand why they're trying to make Ahsoka into this big, important character. I, and that's I why agree. they needed to have Anakin in this, to make you think that Ahsoka's fucking important. They need to use Anakin to make you think that Ahsoka's important because nobody actually knows why.